Here is some footage of my very successful dresser stallion Damon Hill NRW, the horse I would like to use to demonstrate my basic training principles. Our main priorities are to ensure the horse stays healthy and to offer multi-faced, varied and motivation training program. Damie, three-year-old, doing cavaletti pole work. I allow the horses time to develop. As a five-year-old, Damon Hill's very expressive trot shows the first signs of collection. At nine, Damie is himself lead horse for a young horse. His willingness to collect has developed enormously and he can carry weight on his hindquarters very well. My mentor, Paul Stecken, is regularly at my side with good advice. All my horses are put out to graze every day, naturally protected with gaiters and overreach boots. Even light horses should be allowed to be just horses. Grazing and rolling are part of the well-being program. Let's now start with the training of the four-year-old horse. The young stallion is clearly still very distracted by his surroundings. He is initially in rather a hurry and clearly tense. In the familiarization phase, the horse should firstly develop beat and secondly learn to relax. By beat, we mean consistency of the rhythmic movement and uniformity of length of stride for all three gait types, and young horses are rather prone to losing these. This is easy to see with Denaro when his attention is distracted by outside goings-on. Kalas, still a little unreliable in terms of contact, lifts her head occasionally and doesn't always accept the bit evenly. This is not unusual for young horses starting out. In order to keep my hands very still and avoid any temptation to use my hands to force the correct softening of the pole, I bridge the reins. As you can see here, Kalas looks ahead attentively to the first jump, but pulls to the right. So I have to use a crop on the shoulder to try to hold her straight. I follow Tabasco and let the rain out the closer I get to the water, so that Kalas can see and smell it. I talk to her constantly and somewhat firmly drive her on with the leg and hope she will pluck up her courage to enter the water. It's quite normal for a horse to nose the water. I let her sniff at it, but definitely do not let her stand or paw with the hoof. Good. It's a huge achievement when a young horse cooperates so well. It's vital to think forwards and sideways. 70 to 80 percent forwards, 20 to 30 percent sideways will allow the exercise to be ridden fluently. As an interim exercise, a wide figure of eight helps to make the horse's rib cage elastic. That is, to bend it on the inner leg. I then approach the poles again on the diagonal. We now have three. You can see that Eternity, despite her young age, is already experienced in pole work. I regularly travel with my horses to mountain training, where different gradients help to develop the horse's muscles at walk, trot and canter. Naturally, the first training year includes her first competition. In the warm-up arena, the rider must allow plenty of time for riding at walk so that the horse isn't rushed. Here, the test criteria relating to the extension of reins is under particular scrutiny. Eternity takes a look in the mirror, briefly rises up, but immediately assumes the previous extension. This is also quite normal for a young horse. Eternity came third in this test. This is, however, of secondary importance. What she's clearly shown is that her training program is right on track. 